Hey y'all, check this out. Quick market update on what is going on in the crypto markets. Looking at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin sitting at 21,252. And to be honest with you, it's pretty boring right now. Not a lot going on. You see our counter trend line here. And you know, this was broken to the downside, but we have not created a new low. And that's what I'm waiting for. I want that new low to be created. There's two scenarios right here, and this is it. I try to keep everything super simple. I don't have all these banners and scanners and all this stuff all over the charts. I like to keep it super simple so you guys can see, because I believe that simplicity creates that duplication that you can not only teach yourself, but also apply it to your family so everyone can learn how to look at charts. So we try to keep it super simple here at Cockwise Crypto. Looking at this, Bitcoin, this is the range I got. You need to break below here for me to be bought into the fact that we can make a new low past 17,000. Now, there's another scenario. There is another scenario that no one wants to talk about. <laughs> and this is just on the two hour time frame. So even if we go up, it still, it still holds true. We need to break that same level. That's something that uh, we need to do if we're looking at more of a uh, bearish run. But the next idea that I have is we break and close above this level right here and honestly we can even make it a little bit a little bit closer just because it, it's, it's right there we need to see a break either way at this point so we can understand and see uh what's going on so i'll actually remove this counter trend line so you guys can see these are the two levels i'm looking at something needs to happen so and we need to break out somewhere right now it looks like more of a consolidation uh, we have a double bottom here uh, we did make a new high breaking that high but nothing is really indicating that we will go higher or lower right now it's pretty much in limbo so this is where you kind of want to just brace yourself and prepare for any scenario like we could go and i said this i said this earlier we could go here make up break a new high and continue upwards or what we're looking for and what we think is going to happen this is just based on the fundamentals as well not just pure technical analysis but taking into the fundamental factors of what's going on in the world this is what we're looking at uh this bottom going here and then continuing down making a new low past seventeen thousand. that's what we're looking at i know it's not technical tuesday and we're going over these charts but i definitely want to make sure we provided some value here because this is this, these are scenarios I see, um, and I'm more keen on this scenario right here uh, for us going down. Um, we can even probably get a level of resistance in here somewhere, right here, uh, just so you can kind of have those two levels just to to break. And we'll make this pretty clean for you guys to see. But this is kind of what we were looking at: uh, a break here and also a break here on the bottom. We can make it all red. Just so it's more uh, makes more sense for everyone. Um, that's kind of what I'd like to see. Uh, and this is this is a, a crazy range right now because all the sentiment is bearish, right? Oh, we're heading down. We're breaking down right now. You guys saw that move. Uh, the sentiment is bearish, so I don't see a scenario where we just suddenly burst up. I mean, what's what's happening in Celsius, which I hope everyone gets their money back. Like, this is crazy. Because be honest with you, it sounds like Celsius was, you, you know, t taking your money and went, like doing kind of what the bank does and going and trying to trade it. Right. And you get caught up in a bad trades and then the market collapses. And then, oh, every people want to pull their money and they can't. It, it, it doesn't sound right. And, you know, I know they probably having some fine print. They reserve the right, you know, we know what happened, but they're just, that, that that one shocked me. And I'm not, I was never in Celsius, but having worked with, uh, you know, another venture with Alex Mashinsky, uh, you know, since 2018 and just and just really uh, liking the guy and, and, and you know, the transparency and what they were trying to do, it, it, took, it took me by surprise. Bitcoin's falling off a cliff right now. This is live. Um, you see this price action happening just falling off a cliff now this is what i was talking about if we break this level you know it's this is a two hour time frame okay so if we break this level and make a new low there's nothing there to stop us from going back down and at least touching 17k whatever that range was that we wicked 
down this whole level from 19 and then yeah down here where we, we pull back here there's nothing stop there's there's here 19 is the next support but nothing nothing's there after that like there's nothing stopping us from heading back down i don't see it uh so it's you know and this is if you go to the higher time frames you can see it even better uh there's a, there's a little level of support right here the 19 but barely there's nothing it just seems like this is a pullback it's straight straight market structure this is a pullback we made a new low came back just to recoil to go make a new low that's what it looks like to me um and that's kind of what we're anticipating now i know everyone has their you know ideas all oh, this is a bitcoin bottom but i just you got to factor in fundamentals at some time you know at some time in your trading career you got to look at the fundamentals not just pure price action because there's external factors that impact the price right so we see when the stock fall stock market falls what typically happens in the crypto market now they're not connected but what typically happens people's emotion people react that's all this is people reacting um to, to different scenarios and selling are they selling more or are they buying more uh what's what's that look like so we'll see here you can definitely see a head and shoulders um here as well uh we see that here so i definitely understand the logic and i haven't seen the head and shoulders on the two hour uh much but you can definitely understand this logic for head and shoulders down got a shoulder right here <clears throat> down but that's a bearish head and shoulders isn't it? yes that is a bearish head and shoulders <laughs> so that's another confirmation i just like convinced myself about my about this bias but that's another confirmation right there head and shoulders on it's on the two hour time frame though so uh you know take that with however you want it you know it's a it's a lower time frame but nonetheless it's still a head and shoulders <laughs> so we're seeing this live uh sorry i didn't have this like scripted or recorded or uh you know anything like that but this is definitely something to look at is what we're looking at next stop is 19 about 1961 anywhere around there that whole range this whole range is was the next stop we're looking at if we break and close below below uh this level of support that we have here so we'll see what happens i'm not too worried about it but definitely want to definitely wanted to uh have this open for you guys and this is the range we're looking at right here target target one and then it's free falling to be honest with you it's free falling from there there's nothing stopping it there's nothing like there's nothing stopping it until we until we next support is 17 7 yeah 17 again so uh take a look at that that's the, definitely one to hop in here and i know uh the news is typically at this time but definitely want to hop here hop in here and just give my analysis as it was happening real time uh, right now so definitely wanted to give you guys that value hope you got some value out of this video i'm sorry for the charts not being as clean this morning uh you know how we like clean charts here but this is kind of just our outlook and our sentiment on the market so keep moving forward guys and everything that you do we'll see you soon